So hi, we're here at the Internet Identity Workshop, the 14th one of those. Uh, this is in Mountain View, California in May 2012. And I'm here with Kevin Marks. Hi there. Uh, so Kevin, you led a session? I led a session on patents and open standards and the, the, the conflicts between them. Um, I just got back from the, the UK government's um, inquiry into open standards. And one of the big issues there was the dispute between those who think that standards should naturally be patented in corporate royalty payments and those who don't, um, with me falling in the latter camp coming from the, the web world. And uh, what did you take away from all of that? Um, what we got from the session was, was some very good discussion about this because you know, it's, it's an issue that keeps coming up and we have, we have various sort of pre-existing solutions that are um, agreements that companies make with each other that they won't enforce patents, um, such as the Open Web Foundation Agreement, um, Twitter's um, IPA agreement that, that says they will only use patents defensively to encourage people to file them within the company and so on. So, that, so we're starting to see way people trying to express the sort of open web philosophy towards this um, in, in formal documents. But at the same time, we are seeing more and more patent attacks from, outs from outside this world, from outside the sort of circle of agreement that is the web. Um, and also there are other industries that have a much more patent-focused model, like, like, you know, like telecom, where they have, that they presume that they will patent everything and they come with, up with a patent agreement and their standards are much more legislative and less empirical. Do, um, what, do we characterize the problem uh, differently than, I mean, or how would you characterize the problem, let's put it that way? Um, well, the, 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 the problem comes, of, depends, if you want to go back to fundamentals, the idea of patents was to get people to disclose their knowledge so other people could use it later. Um, and so in return for that, they were given a temporary monopoly on exploiting the idea, that, or the mechanism, rather than idea. And that was the, that was the, the goal of patents originally. Um, well, it's, it's a US view of patents. The, the UK view of patents is, is, is related but slightly different in that patents in the UK grew out of the, the crown granting a monopoly on a particular industry to people. Um, and this practice grew in medieval times to the point where you had to have license from the crown to do certain things. King James VI overruled most of this in the Act of Monopolies and abolished all these pre-existing monopolies, but started, said, well, you can't, we'll give ones for new inventions um, if they don't um, cause trouble. Hmm. I'm, I'm paraphrasing slightly, but the clause is not th that different from that. Okay. Um, and from that, the sort of patent law has grown. And the problem is that we, we now have a better method getting people to disclose things, which is the, the open, open source world and the open standards processes that have built the web um, are built on this public shared description of, of works in progress, agreeing specifications, iterating those over time. We've got a fairly well developed way of doing this that is going through a lot of different organizations and that is under threat from um, the sort of old-fashioned medieval monopolies granted by the crown that, that patents are. Do uh, so there was some brainstorming about approaches or philosophies, and they sort of uh, in terms of how to respond. And uh, these seem to fall into a few buckets. Right. So there's so one bucket is um, coming up with agreements and um, amongst ourselves, voluntary agreements between companies, between individuals, um, and then come up with tools for enforcing those. So, for example, creating. Um, we already have these agreements that say when you're starting a standard, you you will not. Um, enforce patents that would prevent people from implementing the standard. That's that's becoming fairly standard in this community. There are various variations on that theme. Okay. Uh, OWFA, Open Web Foundation Agreement, is a, is a good example. It's adopted by many bodies now. Um, there, then, how do you how do you defend against external bad actors? How do you defend against others who have decided they want to use a patent as, as leverage to extract money from you? And that there are a lot of ongoing lawsuits about that at the moment. Um, some of the methods for that are mutual patent licensing agreements. Um, and some people have discussed kind of insurance bodies or defensive pools where companies who have these patents will get together and um, agree to defend the standard against attackers on it. Um, you, you proposed um, the possibility of swamping the patent systems with millions of patents, which I described as every GitHub check, check up becomes a patent. Every GitHub check-in becomes a pattern. <laughs> um, 
there, there is potential to do that. To some extent, that's happening anyway. One of the reasons so many bad patents are issued is that the system is, um, is being gained by people who file very large numbers of patents. And the problem is that uh, patents have gone from clear descriptions of mechanisms to very broad series of claims written in uh, opaque language that's very hard to work out what they're trying to describe, um, and the patents get granted anyway, and then later on that's applied to something else entirely. Um, and that's, that's the, you know, the difference between a, a specification is that it's designed to be implemented and a patent now is designed to be uh, make very, very broad claims indeed. Uh, so were there any next steps coming out of this meeting? Um, the next steps was we would, we would continue talking about this. We have a, have a hashtag, which is fixed patents, and we're going to set up a, a discussion uh, group around that as well. Great. Um, and where can we learn more? Uh, look for the hashtag fixed patents. Um, I have fixedpatterns.org, but I haven't put anything there yet. All right. Thanks very much, Kevin.